Hi, I'm Laurel Toby, the founder of MediaBistro.com, and I'm here today with Jonathan Ames to talk about Bored to Death. Jonathan is the creator of this fabulous HBO series. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but you should. Um, one concerning thing to me, though, Jonathan, about the series is it deals a lot with sex. Why mm -hmm. is it that your mm -hmm. subject matter seems to be so uh, sexual? Well, what what is that? Oh, I mean, that this? is obviously not a sexual. Time. How could you this say is a, this is a rolling pin? It, this is. This is <laughs> <laughs> this is no rolling pin, Jonathan. You, well, how could you think such clear. things about yeah, that? No, but just no, don't hit me. <laughs> I was just going to gently place it there so for the rest of the interview it would, <laughs> it would emerge out of you phallically. No, but seriously. Seriously now. Don't try not to look at this. <laughs> okay. A cigar is sometimes just a cigar. Okay. Um you do deal a lot with sex. You have hmm. you have kind of a bizarre perverted reputation. Um hmm. and uh, where did that come Some from? Some people think that. Some um, people think that. Not, Why did you do family. that? Why did you start that way? Why did you, is it to you, get attention? What, what is I, it all about? I, I think it, it was, I'm, I labeled myself a pervert in my third book. By accident? It was, the book was called What's Not to Love, The Adventures of a Mildly Perverted Young Writer. Now, this was shortly after Dave Eggers' book had come out, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius. Now, he's thought, a genius. You're well, a pervert. I, well, I thought <laughs> I should have a clever title like that. So I'm like, The Adventures of a Mildly Perverted Young Writer. And then after that, for the next, well, that book came out in 2000. It's now 2010. Ever since then, pervert Jonathan Ames, perverted writer Jonathan Ames, <laughs> totally backfired on me. I mean, it was a, a big marketing mistake on my part. Uh, <laughs> back to bored to death. Your aspiration as a writer is not to bore people to death, right. hopefully. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about the show. Well, the show is about a, a young writer named Jonathan Ames, played That's, by Jason Schwartzman. Wait, stop Schwartzman. right there. That's right. Well, why did you name the character after yourself? And isn't that bizarre, seeing yourself well, running around on TV? Well, in the original short story, the, the narrator had my name. And I think it adds this, you know, tension. Did, did this really happen to someone? Did this really happen to this writer? But, you know, they, they love that. As much as people love That's reality why. TV, <laughs> I think they also love to wonder what's the truth behind fiction. Okay, so, so he's I, a private detective. So he's a he's an unlicensed private detective. Okay, he's not because, allowed to do Because he loves mystery novels, and he wants to have adventures, and he wants to help people, and he wants to prove himself, and so he gets to act out my hero fantasies. <laughs> and he has two wonderful friends, uh, George Christopher, played by Ted Danson, who's kind of a, a, a literary figure in the New York publishing world, but losing his power. This is the George That's Christopher That's another character. side of you, right? Well, I, I, he's, I sort of based him on George Plimpton. Right. That's why he's named George. And a little bit of Christopher Hitchens, because I'd once had this amazing evening in Italy with Christopher Hitchens, and I just thought there's never been a character like him on TV. True. And then uh, Zach Galifianakis plays his other friend, Ray Houston, who's a cartoonist. And that's sort of based on a friend of mine, Dean Haspiel, who collaborated with me on a graphic novel called The Alcoholic. Okay, too much information. Now, the more, the more important question <laughs> is, you, you didn't just write the script. Mm -hmm. You actually are, you're getting executive producer credits? Uh, yes. I'm what being, does that mean exactly? Well, I, um, I'm involved in every casting decision. I choose every location. I'm on set 12 People hours a day. People would die to get that kind of power. How did you do that? I don't know. I mean, HBO is very kind to me. It's <laughs> like they gave me the keys to a Ferrari, and I didn't even know how to drive stick, but I pretended, and then I quickly learned. And uh, so it's been an amazing learning experience, and hmm. I think I took, you know, as a novelist, you, you imagine and you visualize things and you try to put it in prose. So then I just took that skill and then, you know, expressed things to the cinematographer and the directors. This is what I see. Can we make it happen? How fun and is that? It's no, so No, it's cool. a lot of fun. So if this doesn't work out for you, what are you going to do next? Well, um, what's good is I can always go back to teaching at Media Bistro. <laughs> we'll where, take you where back. I taught, You've you know, totally I taken over my interview. You took over HBO. You're, you're <laughs> the executive producer of everything. I'm done with you. Thanks, everybody. Uh, this has been Media Beat with mm, Jonathan Ames. Uh, thank you very much for tuning <laughs>